Today, we'll take a look at the new Ashampoo Backup Pro 27, and I'll show you in this video how to create a backup plan using the new version. Have fun! When Backup Pro starts for the first time, the start screen looks like this. At this point, there are no backup plans created yet. However, if you've already created backup plans, the start page will show you an overview of your backups, whether they were successful or if any issues occurred. From here, you can also view the logs and even check the health of your hard drive. Right now, I'm back on my overview page, where no backup plans exist yet. From here, I can simply click on Create New Backup Plan to set one up. In the first step, you decide whether you want to back up individual files or entire drives. In my example, I want to back up files, so I'll click on Files. Now, you can select which files and folders should be included in this backup plan. The Smart Selection offers common presets. If you want to back up other files, you can do that via Manual File Selection. In my example, I want to back up a subfolder from my Pictures folder. So I select that here and then click Next. Next, you choose where the data should be saved. I want to back up my pictures to a USB stick, so I'll select to your PC where local drives and network locations are available. Here, I can now set the drive and the path for the backup. By default, all connected drives are shown. You can change the folder by clicking Choose a different path and then click Next to continue. At this stage, you can choose to compress or encrypt your backup. I don't need that for my example, so I'll simply click Next. Finally, you can adjust more details for your backup plan. In addition to the previous settings, you can Set a name for the backup plan. Change the default schedule for backups. Configure auto start options. For example, to start the backup automatically whenever the USB stick is connected. Or, which I find particularly interesting, enable automatic backups whenever source data changes. To do this, simply activate the option whenever the source data changes. In other words, you can enable real-time monitoring so that backups run automatically whenever something changes in your files. I won't change any other settings now and will click Complete. And that's it. The backup plan is ready. You can start it right away by clicking Start Backup or it will run automatically based on your schedule. You can also edit an existing backup plan later. To do that, go to Backup Plans, select the plan you want, and click the gear icon to adjust settings such as the schedule or reports. Apart from compression and encryption, many other options can still be modified afterward. That's it for now! A Shampoo Backup Pro 27 offers many more features to keep your data safe. These include a rescue system, which allows you to restore a backup even if your computer no longer starts. You can also check your hard drive for errors and even repair it automatically if unreadable sectors are found. I wish you safe and secure data at all times. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any future tutorials. We bring you the best information about a wide range of software. Goodbye and see you next time.